Oh, well, well, congratulations, America. Looks like we're going to get some new guns and bombs and planes before Christmas. Ah. I know you wanted hospitals and schools, school books and hospitals. But looks like we're going to get some new planes, guns, bombs, build up that arms race. Right. So New York Post is reporting, um, Russians warn of new arms race if Trump... Uh, if Trump pulls out of nuclear deal. See, this is the, this is the liberal trap, right? See, liberals for the last year, two years, have been barking about how Russia is so dangerous, right? Hey, right? fucking Russia is dangerous, right? Russia is going to eat our children. And what happens, what happens is you open yourself up to the businessmen, the, the Republican... Shylocks, right? Where's the connection? Let me read the story and you'll see what I'm talking about. So, it's a little windy. Just give me a second. Russia warned that it would have to restore the balance of power and begin developing weapons if Donald Trump pulls out of Cold War era treaty, raising the possibility of a new arms race, a report said Monday. Kremlin spokesman Dem Dem Dmitry Peskov said that the collapse of the 1987 pact would make the world more dangerous and raise a question of, strateg of strategic security for Russia, according to Reuters. It means the United States is not discussing, but is openly starting to develop these systems in the future. And if these systems are being developed, then actions are necessary from other countries, in this case, Russia, to restore balance in this sphere. Trump on Saturday said he was planning to pull out of the immediate range nuclear forces treaty signed by President Ronald Reagan and then Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev because Russia had been violating it for years. Paskov rejected Trump's claim and instead said the U.S. has been working to undermine it. President Vladimir Putin has said many times that U.S. de facto is taking measures that are eroding the conditions of this treaty, referring to the strike drones and anti-missile systems capable of destroying short and long-range, short and intermediate-range rockets. The article's down below if you want to read it. Even though the accord prevents both sides from developing new weapons, Trump said the U.S. will begin to do so again unless Russia and China agree to stop developing new arms. China is not part of the treaty. <laughs> and here's Trump in his <laughs> ridiculous lingo. Well, we'll have to develop these, those weapons unless Russia comes to us and China comes to us <clears throat> and they all come to us and say, let's really get smart. And let's, let's none of us, let's none of us develop those weapons. But if Russia is doing it and China is doing it, and we're, and we're adhering to the agreement, that's unacceptable, Trump said. So what's going on here? Right? $700 billion, that's what's going on here. Right? Remember, Russia, the United States allocated $700 billion dollars for military spending. The military industrial complex is hungry for that money. They want their money. They want to spend that money. Right? So you either, you either need a war or you need a cold war, an arms race, because you got to take that money and you got to start spending it on bombs and planes and developments. Right? Rather than universal single payer health care for a fraction of the cost, give everybody health care expunge student loans, right? Raise the minimum wage. No, no, no. We need we need more bombs. We need more we need we need to, to raise those stock prices on Lockheed Martin and Boeing. Need that money. See that's what it's really about. And Trump is is magnificent because now the now the, the lunatic left can't say, oh no 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 Trump look he's trying to he's gonna make a, a war with Russia. Well, for two years, you've been saying Russia is the enemy, right? So now Trump looks like a rock star. 
building up an arms race against Russia. Ah, fucking liberals. They got you again, man. Trump wins. Republican, rep the Republican businessmen win. The oligarchy wins. And again, the people, the American people lose. I hope you're proud of yourselves. I mean, it's, it's a magnificent play, really, if you look at what Trump is doing. Does it make us safe? It's a, it's a magnificent play for Trump himself and his business cronies. It's not, a, it's not a victory at all for the American people. It's a failure. It's a, it's, a, it's a disgrace. But those are the seven billion reasons why, seven billion good reasons why he's going to pull out of that treaty. My name is Marcus Conti, reporter.